RTO is another term that gets thrown around a lot and can be confusing between RPO and RTO because they are so similar. The RTO itself is the recovery time objective, which essentially means how long is it going to take to power up my stuff in Tetagrid. The second site product itself allows for really fantastic RTOs and really what you're looking at in terms of time from when you hit the failover button to when things are powered up and available in the cloud you're looking at roughly five minutes. That's five minutes to bring up every VM no matter how many they have or what kind of specs they are running at. Often though in, in real worlds for a business you don't really want everything to power up at the exact same time. You may want a back-end database to come up first before its front-end web server comes online so that it doesn't start throwing any crazy alarms or error messages or um, event-driven alerts. In that scenario with the product, we would have certain VMs coming up first and then injecting either a script or a wait time or running some kind of batch file operation before bringing up the other VPG which may have the front-end web servers. So from that point of view, the control or the RTO available really is given back to you as the user of the product to lead off from that five minute mark. If you're just happy bringing everything up in the environment like a big bang, then Second Sight will give you a five minute RTO. If you're wanting to be a little bit more graceful or running some scripts in the environment or some things alongside whilst powering up certain VMs, then the RTO can start to increase from that five minutes out to whatever is acceptable for your business.